welcome. Let's start with that one breath. Yesterday, we identified some of our emotional triggers, those moments when we knee-jerk react, sometimes not as our best selves. Let's take just a few moments to understand what's happening here. Here's a story from a client. Let's call him Joe. Joe was giving a big presentation of data pulled together by his department before the board of directors. He was ready and he was really excited. In the room are his boss, the board, and some of his team who may or may not have wondered why he was giving the presentation and not them. Just as he got started, his boss cut in and said one of the data points was clearly incorrect. It totally broke his flow. He looked around the room and he panicked. His mind went into overdrive. Was it wrong? Who collected and verified that data? Why didn't he check it? Now he looked like an idiot. Was he gonna get fired? What was gonna happen next? His heart was racing. His fate was, was flushed and there were flashes of frustration maybe a little self-blame, maybe a little anger. All of this was going through his head at once. So what's happening to Joe? When an emotional trigger hits us, we actually respond with our bodies before our cognitive mind reacts. The bodily sensations kick in and that signals our amygdala to decide what to do next. Should we run? Should we fight? Should we freeze? It's a primal instinct that we may think is totally unnecessary, but it's there, under the surface, driving everything we do. We feel compelled to respond in a particular way. If we are reactive to this, as in knee-jerk, we may do so in a less than optimal way. If we are mindful of what's going on, though, we can respond rather than react. We can signal our cognitive mind, the prefrontal cortex, to calm the amygdala, and bring reason back with a little training. In order to understand this, I wanna take you through a short practice. So I hope that you're sitting down. That's the easiest way to do this. You can do it standing, but you need to be someplace kind of quiet as we're gonna do a short meditation. Let's choose one of the triggers that you listed yesterday. Now, no, this shouldn't be something too traumatic. We don't want to encourage any flashbacks or any great emotions because we're not quite ready yet. We want to take baby steps. So do something that you can manage to bring back to your memory, but that isn't going to be too traumatic for you. These triggers take us over very quickly. So we're going to try to do it real slow and slow it down and bring our awareness to what happens in a safe setting where we can gain some familiarity with these signals and practice a new response. This can help us respond much more skillfully next time and prevent escalation. So let's get settled in our chairs. Take a couple of breaths, and just get settled. And if you're comfortable, close your eyes, but you don't have to. We're just gonna focus on breathing in and out. Let's take a couple of breaths together, in and out at your own pace. There's no judgment here, we're just breathing. Focus on the in-breath, the out-breath, even that little pause in between. If you're not comfortable following the breath, feel your body expanding with the breath, your body settling into the chair. Now bring your trigger to mind. Take yourself back to when this happened in your mind. Really bring yourself fully back to that moment. Where were you? Who or what is involved? What's happening? Try to bring back the feeling you had at that moment. While it was happening, what did you feel in your body? Pay attention to those physical feelings, maybe in your face your neck, your jaw, your shoulders, your chest, even your belly. We feel emotions in very many places. 
How does it feel? How deep is the sensation? How would you describe it? Is it hot? Cold? Soft? Hard? Urgent? Just notice what's here, right now. What emotions go with this? Is it hurt? Is it anger? Maybe frustration or fear? Just stay here for a moment and experience that. What's going on here right now? Now reflect for a moment on the thoughts of the situation. Just as an observer, without following the trails, just note the thoughts that come up. Is it self-righteousness? Are they victim thoughts? Hopelessness? Blaming? Anger? Whatever thoughts go through your head, just note them and then let them go. You may notice that thoughts connect to emotions and amplify that. And if you find yourself caught up in a thought and an, or an emotion, just let it go and go back to observing. Think of yourself in maybe a, 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 a bug in the corner of the room that can be observing you from a distance and seeing these thoughts and emotions going through your body. Continue to breathe in and out naturally, noticing your thoughts, your emotions, just being aware. It's okay to let those emotions and thoughts just flow right through you. We're trying to experience the situation as fully as we can without letting it affect us or trigger us to action. Just watch. Once you see you can let these emotions go, that you can let these thoughts flow through your brain and not hold on to them, you can also see that you don't have to react to them at all. You have a choice. You're not stuck here. So now let's return to just the breath. Feel your body breathing in and out. And feel a sense of calm returning. If you still have some residual emotion, try this. Make a tight ball with your fists. Squeeze the muscles hard. Hold them tightly and then unfold your hands and release it. Shake out your fingers and let them go. Now let's take one good deep breath and fully let go. How was that for you? Visualizing works differently for everyone. Some of us feel it more physically. Some of it feel it more emotionally. It really doesn't matter how you feel it. That's the way you feel it. And that's the right way it is. Just understand that everyone experiences this differently and you can't do it wrong. Please let me know in the comments or message me how this was for you. I would love to get some feedback from you and hear what your questions are. So as we go forward, I can make sure that I'm making this a class for you because that's really who it's for. Next time, we're gonna take this another step in learning how to respond to our triggers. Thank you.